My reefing fam, what is going on? March here. This is Fragbox TV. Welcome back to the channel. We try to do a reef related topic, discussion, craziness here um, seven days a week. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. And this is our coral store here in Toronto, Ontario. And in our store, we get a ton of people walking in, hobbyists of all different ages and different experience levels. But a question we do get quite often, especially among newer hobbyists in the saltwater, reef keeping, whatever you call this hobby, is how fast do corals grow? And this question is a little bit tricky to answer. This is one of our coral beds here. Um, because there's so many different types of corals, one. And two, because there's so much variation from aquarium to aquarium. So no two aquariums are the same. If you took home this Fluval Evo 13 and a half gallon, which is amazing by the way, and you got the same AI Prime 16 HD and the same return pump and you used the same salt and you copied everything we did, the corals are gonna look different, they're gonna react different, they're gonna grow differently, no two systems are the same. So it's kind of a tricky question to answer, but I'm going to try and answer it in some part um, before the end of today's video, how fast they grow. So all systems are different, that's the first one, and corals are very different. So when you say how fast do corals grow, let me show you for an example, this coral over here, which grows extremely fast. I mean explosive to the point where it's almost invasive. You see how many we have here? This is one of our, our coral beds. There's probably a thousand different coral frags in here right now. And this one right here is called Green Star Polyps. GSP, we call it for short. It comes in a couple different varieties. They're all more or less green, different shades of green with different length tentacles, sometimes longer, sometimes shorter. Sometimes you'll get a cool kind of white mouth. This is a pretty standard one, still a beautiful coral. And if you ask how fast does this coral grow? If 10 is the fastest, this thing is an 11. This thing is just, you could literally watch it grow daily. And that's sort of the case for a lot of soft coral. So when I say soft coral, what does that mean? I'm gonna bother one of these ones here today. I pick, hmm, who is gonna be, I pick you, this one right here. So soft because he's got, oh, there's my finger. He's got no skeleton. He's all, if, I, if you were here right now, if I could describe how he's feeling, I guess I am describing, he's like mush. It's just, um, there's no hardness to it. This one over here, which is a Lepastria, it's got a hard skeleton. Oh, sorry, a little blurry. And it needs to encrust and calcify. So this soft coral is gonna grow much, much faster than a coral like this. That's why I say it's kind of a hard question to answer. This, again, is another soft coral. That's a Rhodactus mushroom. So typically anything that is classified into the soft coral family is gonna grow pretty quick. What else can I see in here for soft coral? I see some Anthelia, some pulsing Anthelia, which is kind of cool actually because it's like Xenia, but it pulses. I see some daisy coral, some pipe organ, which is classified as soft, grows quick. And I also see some leather. So leathers are gonna grow quick. But LPS corals, sometimes slow, but here's a Duncan coral, also grows quick. Acan, not so fast. So that's why I'm saying it's kind of a hard question to answer. SPS, when we get into the hard corals, stuff like this, typically very, very slow. Um, this is a little long-winded, but I'm gonna try and answer, like I said, the question before the end of the video. So what I'm gonna do right now is pick one coral. It's gonna be a soft coral. I'm gonna take a video of it now, today, and then we're gonna check back in maybe four to six weeks and actually record and see how fast that coral has grown. It's going to be a Kenya tree. I think I have one in this tank over here, actually, hiding in the back. Please disregard the dirty glass. So that piece you see right there is a Kenya tree. Kenya tree more or less always comes in this sort of pinky color. I guess it's like a pinky purple sort of color. There's another one kind of up there hiding in the back, but it's a really fast growing coral, so I think it'll be a good candidate for this video. It's extremely easy to keep, and I have some frags. I'm gonna take you down to the basement, and we're gonna video them, and then we'll check back and see how quickly they grow in, I don't know, I think we'll give it four weeks. I think that's a fair amount of time, and we'll kind of check out what the growth rate is on Kenya tree. Okay, so now you can come with me to our spooky basement where we grow a lot of the corals that we sell here in-house. Sorry for the camera quality, it is quite dark. I should probably turn on the lights. This is our one of our coral farms over here. 
And we're gonna look at Kenya tree and report back. I think four weeks is a good unit of measurement. This tank actually went through kind of a debacle not too long ago. We're not gonna get into it in this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you are enjoying the content because that's how I know to do more videos like this. I hope that it's helpful, hope that it's useful, that someone out there is getting something out of this. A thumbs up is how you guys are going to let me know. So, oh, nice little ras there. Um, Let's take a look over here at our little Kenya tree frags. So they're about, I don't know, I want to say an inch, inch and a half tall. Like I said, really, really easy. We have maybe one, two, three, four, five, six pieces in here. They're just chilling in the corner, low light, low flow. I'm not going to touch them. I'm not going to move them. I'm not going to do anything for the next month. And then I'm going to grab the camera, come back. We'll take a look at them and maybe try to answer how fast do corals grow, at least for this one example of coral, the Kenya tree. And I, I expect them to be pretty big actually because they do grow quick, like I said, no calcium. Just like zoanthids, the, all the corals we're growing here, well, most of them are zoanthids because they're very easy to grow, just like Kenya tree um, in the same soft coral sort of family. And they grow good for us and we're able to farm them and offer these cultured corals here in the store, which I'm really proud to do. They're grown here in Canada. This, for example, is a Sunny D palithoa. This was grown from a single head. So maybe in the next video, I will do sort of, uh, how long does it take for zoanthids to grow? Maybe we'll look at this one also in four weeks. So I won't frag this one here. It's about two and a half inches across. So maybe we'll turn this into like a Kenya tree and Sunny D video. But if you guys find this useful, I'm more than happy to do it every four weeks for a bunch of Four weeks later, let's check it out, see how they're doing. Let's see if the poltergeist is here today. No poltergeist. All right, exciting. Let's see if we can help answer this question. How fast do corals grow? Okay, look how the Kenya trees are looking. Not bad, they're about, I would say, hmm, about double in size. That's in 30 days. Uh, we'll see if I can kind of post up a photo side by side to show you what they look like before. And I will show you them also here from the side through my dirty glass. Yeah, they're about, I would say, about double what they were. This guy looks like a little a little upset for some reason. Maybe someone moved him, but about double in size. I guess we could do this again and look back in another four weeks, but they're looking really good. Yeah, they look happy. And I would say 50 to 100% bigger than they were when we originally shot them in the last video. So we'll look back at these maybe another four weeks. And like I said, if you find it useful, I will do this for um, some zoas, or if you want to comment below if there's another coral you'd like to see how fast they grow, I can do it for some bird's nests, for some acropora. Oh, it looks like one of our Kenyan trees actually went for a walk over here. I just found one other one. It looks pretty good. So let me know. I'll look out for the comments. Let me know if you like the video. Let me know if you want to see how fast another one grows. And we'll go ahead and wrap up this episode of Fragbox TV. And we'll see you back here tomorrow. Like I said, we like to do a video here almost every single day of the week. Man, these zoas have grown a ton. They look great. Our system is rocking back to normal. Maybe I can do a walkthrough of this system if you want to see some of the stuff. We're just getting back into culturing after killing everything that was growing, actually. In this aquarium, we lost just about everything. We're getting back up on our feet. The colonies are getting to a nice size again to the point where I'm comfortable fragging them. The LPS is looking good, looking happy. And that's it. We'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Make sure to subscribe. This has been another episode of Fragbox TV.